Welcome back guys! We are now on day two in our hatching journal and because it's Friday we're actually going to get a sneak peek of what's happening over the weekend since we're not here. So you're going to get a different page today that looks like this and it's called the weekend report and it's going to cover today, Friday, which is day two, but we're also going to look at days three and day four, which is happening on Saturday and Sunday. So here's our incubator today on Friday, and there's the picture up on the wall behind it, which gives you a little sneak peek of what's happened inside our eggs so far. So let's head inside those eggs and see what's happening today. So inside our egg, there's our little tiny baby duck again. Let's get a little bit closer here. I'll show you the picture. So this was yesterday. Remember that tiny little spot? And now, let me show you today. There it is. Do you notice anything different about it? I hope you noticed that that little tiny red spot got a little bit bigger. It's still nice and easy for us to draw, but that's our little egg. So once again, we can see that kind of yellow color in most of the egg. You can leave that white, like clear, or do it kind of a nice light yellow color. That's our albumin, that's the clear part of the egg. Then there's that orange circle in the middle, and that's our yolk, that's what's going to feed our baby duck. And then that little red dot, which is a little bit bigger than yesterday, is our baby duck. Let's go back to the weekend report paper that we pulled up earlier in our journal. So there it is. And remember, it's going to look a little bit different because we're not just looking at one day today. We need to cover the weekend when we're not here. So we're going to do days two, three, and four. So maybe you just want to draw one day and that's totally fine. Or if you want to do all three days, you could draw three egg shapes on there. Mummies and daddies can help draw those tricky egg shapes too if you'd like. Or just draw a circle and color them in. I always start with that shape though, and then fill it in. So let me move on. We will look at what's happening in the egg tomorrow. When we look inside our egg tomorrow, we're gonna start to see this. Anyone know what those are? They're not roots and they're not trees. They're blood vessels or veins. If you look at the backs of your hands, you might see some of those those little blue lines going through your skin. Those are blood vessels. And our ducks are starting to grow blood vessels. So if we look at the picture of the whole egg, we still see our red circle, about the same size as it was today. But this time we're gonna start to draw just a couple of lines coming off of it to show those tiny little blood vessels starting to grow. That's what's happening on Saturday. The blood vessels are starting to grow. Now let's take a look and see what's happening on Sunday. Sunday is day four of our duck development. And look at that. It's starting to not look like a little circle anymore. It's kind of getting a little bit of shape to it. It's still so tiny that when we do our drawing, we'll just do it as a little circle. But I also notice that those veins are getting a lot bigger kind of looks like a little bug, doesn't it? So our circle is there, our veins are getting to be a little bit more, but everything is still staying in that orange yolk sac. So just remember, you can write whatever you want on the weekend report. You can draw one egg, you could draw three eggs, you could show all three days, you could show just one day. And your sentence could be just one day, or it could be all of them, but we want it to reflect what's happening. So here are the three days we just covered. Day two, we saw that the spot is getting bigger. Day three, we're starting to see those blood vessels. And day four, the veins look like a bug. Those are the sentences that I wrote. Can you copy them? Of course you can. Do I wanna see you trying to sound out your own sentences? Of course I do. So especially if you're an SK, we would love to see those sounds and see you trying to write your own sentences. If you want to write what I wrote, that's totally fine too. You can do all three of them or you could just do one of them. So don't forget to take a picture of your journal once you've finished it and send it to us through Seesaw. I 
just missed them turning to get a video of it for you, so I will end here with a photo of our six duck eggs. See you on Monday!